Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks everybody that have reached out over the last couple weeks. As soon as we got back from our vacation um, that I told you guys that were going on, I was going on, uh, Hurricane Helene hit. And fortunately, like where we actually live, uh, we were spared. We're a little north of where the, uh, the dams failed and where the rivers overflowed. So about 40 miles, 30, 40 miles to the south of us got hit very, very bad. Um, that's what you probably see a lot on the news, Western North Carolina, uh, the very Southern part of East Tennessee, kind of right there near the North Carolina, Tennessee line. Um, there are still massive recovery efforts going on there. And, uh, but like I said, we were, uh, just got a lot of rain and a little bit of a power outage. Just, uh, my parents lost power for about four days. Ours was maybe out for just an hour or two. It was just a little spotty one of the days. So we were very, very fortunate. So, um, like I said, big thank you to everybody that's reached out and anybody that has helped, uh, those communities down there any way that you could. Um, they are really in the midst of um, trying to trying to bounce back and good news They're starting to open up some of those roads down there. Um, they're opening them up to locals only right now, but um, it, They're making progress. Nonetheless, it definitely seems like they are uh, pe People are trying to get things back on track down there and uh, Thankfully, they've got the donations and the volunteer work and all of that uh, pouring in um, as far as the, uh, the, the Tennessee side, Unicoi County, um, as far as that goes. So, but no, I am okay. I have just been, as far as the storm goes, it's made work really, really crazy. Just um, dealing with a lot of the, uh, the AEP, the Appalachian Electric Power uh, linemen guys that were out there restoring power to, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions of people that lost power and we're dealing with, um, with with the Red Cross volunteers and trying to coordinate all that, the, all of those people that are coming in. So no, I am good. Hopefully I can get back to a normal video schedule now. Um, we're kind of um, kind of hope, hopefully turning the corner to some normalcy and uh, I will uh, be back at it now with 27 days to go until Planet Coaster 2. I can't believe we are under a month to go now. We are under freaking 30 days and they are really pumping out the, if we thought they were being quiet kind of when August got here, they are making up for it now. At some point, we are getting multiple videos a day, even if they're little shorts. They're showing us coasters, pools, scenery. We got the Viking stuff. We got the, the mythology stuff. They are really, really in the midst of pumping out content. And I think that's a good thing. I think it, it would be more concerning if they went quiet now, because then you kind of start creeping into the, we've made the decision to postpone until March, 2025 crap, um, that you're seeing pop up a lot now. Um, one of the games that I was really, really looking forward to this year was Tavern Keeper. And they have essentially pushed off into 2025 and I don't think that's going to happen with Planet Coaster 2. I think they're at a point now where um, things are ready to go. I know we still have a lot of gripes about the UI and uh, not kind of uh, plastering the Planet Coaster symbol on everything. Uh, kind of like that we've seen here recently where they where it's even on the path. Um, you know, a lot of us are asking them to please remove that. We, there's no reason to None of us are going to want a Planet Coaster logo on the path. Um, I don't think really, no matter what you're trying to create, there would not be a reason you would want to see that logo on a queue um, or on one of the paths. So uh, a lot of us have, have, are asking them to remove that and to take a different look at the UI. Um, but I, I'm not tripping on the UI very much. I think that's one of those things where they will be able to fix that based on our feedback. Um, I don't think that's a, if to, to me, it's not necessarily game breaking. It was a little weird during my two hour session, but I'm also thinking that that's one of those things where we're comparing it to Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. 
and honestly if you're here watching this video you're probably not going to be playing those that much after november 6th planet zoo I, some of you may be jumping back in and playing it but as far as the hardcore planet coaster players go i would say it's one of those things where we'll just get used to it you'll play it you'll be putting so many hundreds of hours into it you'll get your flow um now i do hope now not to say that i don't want them to tweak some things back towards uh towards planet coaster and what's familiar but um i, I just don't think it's going to be a deal breaker for me it's just more of a comfort enjoyment thing um that i hope they look into but yeah guys i'm i'm you know sorry for the lack of videos i just wanted to jump on here and kind of let you guys know that i'm okay everything's okay we are um just kind of uh trying to get back into the flow of things here and uh, i will go back to hopefully now uh micro covering planet coaster 2 again i was afraid i was i was probably aggravating you guys anyway with like a video every single day every time frontier tweeted something i was making a video about it so i uh, definitely don't want to kind of like aggravate or make you guys eye roll that um oh god you know somebody at frontier farted and s dan made a video about it um i, I kind of don't want to do that either but um, anyways, guys, yeah, I'm gonna jump on out of here. Just want to let you know I'm still rolling. I'm still keeping up with everything, and hopefully the videos can start back up again. We're getting, I mean, we're getting so freaking close that November 6th on my work calendar, like it's almost into view now. Like where I requested it off. You guys will have to let me know if you want me to live stream it on that day, or if you just want me to start putting out videos and starting a water park, starting a theme park. I think it would be fun to kind of jump on that day whenever everything goes live and um you know just w whenever it's released on on steam and we're ready to go um just live stream it with you guys and have you guys pop in um throughout the day you know maybe do a couple like maybe do a morning live stream and an evening live stream on the 6th and uh just kind of let you guys jump in and and, and give your thoughts to me and kind of watch what I come up with that first full day of gameplay. But anyways, guys, I'm S. Stan Wolf. Like I said, thanks to everybody for the messages and the tweets and the Instagram messages um, asking if I was okay. We are totally fine. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we are going to be okay. So I will yell at you guys in the next one and appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you.